So now we will go into some of the scenarios and our own personas uh, of our demo and how our project works. This is a demonstration of a primary persona who is a web developer. In this scenario, the web developer is developing a website for the faculty's members. Um, this website requires the photo of the faculty's member to be formatted with great background. However, not all the photos submitted by faculty's member follow this format um, due to COVID. A lot of photos submitted are taken at home where a gray background is not available to the faculty's members. And to top that off, um, there are more than 100 faculty's members, which means there are more than 100 photos, uh, which require the web developer to handcraft um, their portraits and put them in a gray background with Photoshop, which will take hours of his time. And after hours of cropping portrait of the photos, the developer get frustrated, break everything, and quit his job. However, in the parallel universe, um, with the help of Face Reaper, our automatic face cropping uh, web app, um, all these tasks can be done automatically within minutes, which make the developer job very easy and make the developer very happy. Let's say I want to use cropped face images to create memes. I want to use memes in text messages with my family, friends, etc. But I don't want to manually crop faces using software such as Photoshop as this may be tedious and take a significant amount of time. There are some web applications that do face cropping, but some of them make users choose the area to crop. Also, some may crop out bodies instead of just faces. But this web application is simple compared to other applications and reduces the number of steps users take to get a cropped image. This web application only has one page. There are instructions on the left side of the page for me to follow. According to the instructions, I can press choose file button to select an image. After selecting an image, I can press start button to start cro cropping. After the application finishes, download button appears. I can press it to download the new image. The new image contains a cropped face with a transparent background. I can use this to create new memes. Oh look, I just received a new email. Oh, what does it say? Hmm, important requirement for a personal portfolio website. Hey Raith, I hope this email finds you well. We need a cropped photo of you with a transparent background to include in your personal website. Please email us ASAP. We need it in the next hour. Man, that's so soon. So we can present the website to the public. We have no time. Oh man, I'm running out of time. Let me look quickly in my pictures to see if I have a cropped photo. Oh man, all of my pictures don't have a cropped background. And they all have a background. What am I going to do? Well, the University of Michigan does give me a free licensing to Photoshop. Maybe I can use it to crop it, to crop the background. Oh man, Photoshop is so tedious. My lines are so bad. I don't want an ugly picture in my website. And I have no time to learn Photoshop or use it. Let me ask one of my friends who is professional. Maybe he can help me quickly. Hey, can you help me with cropping my face? No, I'm busy. Well, what am I going to do now? This is so bad. Let me try Googling. Maybe that will help me. Face cropping website. Hmm, let's select one of the options that we find here. Face crop jet. What? They want me to buy the software for $55? That's a lot of money. I don't think that this is worth it. Oh, let's look. One of my other friends said, try this website. 
Hmm, I wonder if this website is going to be good. I already have bad experiences with most websites. They crop images. Oh, this seems pretty cool. This is a really simple front page. Well, what do I do? Just choose the file, start button to start cropping after download button. Is it really that simple? No ads? I don't have to pay money? Well, let's test it out. All right, let me select one of the images that I have. Boom! It just gave me the image immediately. That's amazing. Well, let's see if it looks good on my website. Let me send it via email. Wow, the photo looks really good. Man, this website is amazing. I'm going to recommend it to all of my friends. In this section, I'll be talking about some of the technical details of our backend server. In order to host our web app, we use Flask library to handle the URL routing. And to handle the automatic cropping, we use PyTorch library to, des to design our own neural network models. And we also explore some other existing models in, uh, in the Torch Vision library as well. As for the dataset, um, there are many datasets available online, and we ended up using the Celebrity A dataset because it has large quantity of high quality images and its image are uh, well labeled and it's relatively easy to use. And plus it is also free. Um, we also found a deface library online um, that has a pre trained neural network model that is capable of finding and cropping different objects in the images. And because of deface uh, library, uh, model has the best overall performance becomes the model that we end up using in our final products. As for the challenges that we face when implementing our backend server, we encounter some integration error due to circular import in our own Flask app, uh, which took us some time to debug and find out where it goes wrong. We also spend a majority of the time uh, training and validating our own model, even though that is not what we use in our final products. Um, at last, uh, the data set that we use, Celebrity A, is not very representative um, because most of the image, as you can see in the slides, are close-up shot of the celebrity uh, where their face taking up majority of the images. Um, the data set image also has really high resolution, making the model relatively slow to train, and it may not generalize well with respect to some other um, lower resolution images that the user might submit. 